sand through the hourglass, so are the gators lives. Hey, Samantha, there's something I've been meaning to say to you. Oh, Carl, there's something I need to tell you as well. You go first. I love having sex with you, and I want to have sex with you for the rest of my life. Will you marry- Hey, guys. Steve. Oh, hey, Steve. What are you guys doing? Uh, yeah, we were in the middle of something. Oh, <laughs> nothing important. Oh, sweet. Samantha, you said you had something important to tell me. Oh, well, I guess it's good you're both here. What is it? I'm pregnant. Who's the father? Both of you are! Did I miss something? Dad? Dad? George? <laughs> but you were in a coma. Thank you guys so much for coming. I wouldn't have missed it for anything, son. Oh, of course, you silly boy. We love you. That means a lot, guys. Uh, I have a very important announcement to make. Hey, guys. God damn it, Steve. Carl, language son, what would your mother think? <clears throat> hey, Steve. Well, what are you guys doing? We were trying to have a family dinner, and I was trying to say something. Carl, why are you always so mean to Steve? Because he ruins my life. He's always walking into the middle of my conversation. He's an arrogant asshole. I fucking hate you. Oh, jeez, Carl, I'm so sorry. It's just I think you're like the coolest guy in the world. And, and I love you. What is wrong with you, Carl? What did you have to say anyways? The doctor said without a kidney transplant, I'll be dead within the month. Carl, don't you remember when we were kids and you needed that blood transfusion? Your point? We were a match! I could donate my kidney to you! Yay, Steve, you're my hero! Steve, I am so proud of you. Why do you hate me, Steve? Ah! Son of a bitch! Well, I guess I'll be headed out of here, son. Where are you going? I'm headed down to Lake Sebastian to do some fishing with the boys. Would you be interested in going with me? Hell yeah. I thought you hated fishing. I do, but uh, you know, it's just been so long since we've had any time together, so I'm looking forward to it. Well, let's get out of here then. <laughs> guys, guys. <laughs> oh no. Deep breath, Samantha. <sighs> now, Samantha, what is wrong? It's... <laughs> It's Steve. What happened? Is Steve okay? He's missing. Look, guys, I'm sure he's fine. He's an adult. No one has seen him in three days, Carl. He isn't fine. I'm afraid something has happened to him. It's okay, baby. I will help you look for him. But, Dad, you said we'd go fishing. Steve is missing, Carl. Why don't you call everyone that he knows and see if anyone has heard from him or seen him? All right, whatever. Ah, help me out of here. I'm cuffed to this pipe. I'm scared. Now, why would I do that? Carl, I, I don't know what I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> you don't you don't know what you did wrong? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You break in to my house without knocking constantly. You make my own family love you more than they love me. And then I'm dying. And that can't even be about me. That has to be about you giving me your kidney to try to save my life. I'm so fucking tired. I'm so done with it, Steve. This ends here. 
You're not ever, ever going to ruin or take anything from me again! Please, God. God, I... I love you. I know. You fool! Stupid, 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 stupid. Hey guys. What the fuck? I killed you. Yeah, you got that right. Dude, how are you right here? I'm not real, Carl. You made me up. What? Th that doesn't make any sense. You gotta get up, man. You gotta clean all of this up. What are you gonna do? Oh, shit. You're right, I, I gotta call somebody. Hello? Yeah, Terry? Hey man, it, it, it's, it's Carl, I was just, I, I know it's been forever since we've talked, man, but I was just wondering, do you, do you still have that job where you go and you, you know, you clean up at, at the scenes of crimes? But, okay, okay, all right, bye. What did he say? He told me to shut the fuck up and that he'd be here in 20 minutes. Thank you for coming, man. Listen, bro, I don't care what's going on. You don't ever talk about what I do over the telephone like that, you understand? I'm guessing you got yourself in a lot of trouble here, and now that phone call can be considered evidence against me. I'm, I'm so sorry, dude. Look, man, I don't need you to be sorry. I need you to tell me where the body is. It's, it's down in the basement. All right, I just need you to stay out of my way. I'll come and tell you when it's done. Oh, what have I done, man? You killed me. I know that, Steve. God damn it. But why, Steve? Why kill me? Don't ask dumb questions. Yo, bro, everything's taken care of. Oh, thank you so much, man. Seriously, like, you've saved my life. Yeah, man, not a problem. Now, listen, don't ever call me again. I mean, ever. Don't ever, ever call me again, or you're going to end up on the wrong side of me. Oh my god, what am I gonna tell George and Samantha? I think there's someone at the door. You Carl? Yes? I'm Detective Kelly, I have a few questions I wanna ask about the disappearance of a man named Steve. Admit that you did it! I didn't do it! Carl, just tell him the truth, it's the right thing to do. Shut up! Uh-huh. I'm sorry, did you just tell me to shut up? I was just saying... Stop your stalling. Admit what you've done. You have no alibi, no excuses, and you look guilty as fuck. We know you had something to do with his disappearance. Now tell us, what'd you do with Steve? I don't fucking know! Come on, I've talked to your sister. She said you hate Steve. Is that true? I, I, he was with me. I, I'm, I'm sorry, who are you? I'm George and this is my son Carl. And Carl would never do anything to hurt Steve. Steve was like a brother to him. They'd known each other since kindergarten. And despite the fact that Steve would time to time get under Carl's nerves, he would never, ever do anything to hurt Steve. Why is George lying? So why didn't you tell me you were with your dad? I just didn't. Well, he tends to overthink things, and he was just worried, probably, that he was going to pull me into this whole situation. Now, we're wasting a lot of time here that we should be spending finding Steve. Well, all right, then. It looks like you're free to go. Um, so if you guys can think of anything, have any other, uh, you know, clues or evidence or anything that you can think of, call me and tell me, and don't even think about leaving town, okay? Thank you, Detective, and we do appreciate your efforts. <sighs> Why did you lie about being with me? You and I both know you had nothing to do with Steve's disappearance, right? Yeah, of course not. 
And the detective needs to be out there looking for him, not wasting all this time in here throwing around wild accusations. It's okay, son. Everything is going to be okay. I wonder how long they'll continue to look for me. Hopefully not long. Hopefully they give up soon. Maybe you should just turn yourself in. I mean, you are guilty. What have I told you about saying dumb shit, huh? I'll just say you did kill me. Just leave me alone, okay? Go away. Carl, Carl, I just got off the phone with Detective Kelly. They said they found his body. He's, Steve, he's, he's dead. What? Where? It was in a dumpster behind an alley. They said he got stabbed like 30 times. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, Samantha. I'm so sorry. Do they have any suspects? I'm so sorry. He said that he said this thing happens all the time and that they barely ever get the guy. <laughs> Children, I'm so sorry for your loss. I will begin to plan Steve's funeral immediately. I can't believe you're gonna get away with this. I eat shit on my tacos in front of small children. I make a mess and then I throw an unusual tantrum. Why can't I only fit two dicks in my ass? Am I a meme yet? Am I a meme yet? <laughs>